My name is Willard Lett. I am uh, the male co-chair of the National Coalition of Blacks for Reparations in America. Founders of this organization had the insight uh, back in the uh, early 80s were to create a leadership structure that has both a male and a female co-chair. So I bring you greetings from the female co-chair, Sister Kenneth Henry. And um, again, thank you for the opportunity to address this question on behalf of Encobra of what does self-determination look like for descendants of enslaved Africans. The National Coalition of Blacks for Reparations in America is a mass-based coalition organized for the sole purpose of obtaining reparations for African descendants in the United States. The National Coalition of Blacks for Reparations in America, or INCOBRA, was formed as a coalition in the mid-1980s to bring together the different groups working for reparations uh, for African can chattel enslavement at the time. A key organizing force was Baba Imari Obadeli, uh, our ancestor, and um, also the organization, the Republic of New Africa, and uh, which is also known as the RNA. And the RNA was founded on the principle that people of African descent were not given a choice they weren't given a choice regarding their initial kidnapping and enslavement, and they were not given a choice regarding their fate after the end of the internal political conflict we call the American Civil War. Now, the RNA chose to establish a separate nation in the Black Belt states of the U.S., but recognized that there were other options. Physical separation from Europeans while, remi while remaining in this country is one option. There's also repatriation. Repatriation, traveling to a different country, whether on the African continent or in the Caribbean, is another option. And then finally, integration into American society is a third op option. So we have separation, repatriation, or integration. And as we look at the history of African people, we see that there have been, uh, uh, there have been leaders, there have been movements uh, that have championed in all three of those uh, strategies at different times. Now in Cobra things, self-determination for the descendants of enslaved Africans looks like a plebiscite. A plebiscite is a gathering of a group to decide for themselves what they do, where they go, and what their future will be. A plebiscite is what has historically been denied to Africans enslaved in the U.S. A plebiscite would provide descendants of enslaved Africans the opportunity to choose their fate, to decide for themselves, to self-determine their own fate. Uh, a plebiscite requires education, engagement, and action on the parts of the descendants of enslaved Africans in order to not just make a choice, but to make an informed choice. And uh, we've heard from the previous speakers, uh, parts, uh, you know, in, in of all these, uh, uh, both uh, strategies as far as uh, which way to go, but also we've heard uh, folk talk about the different elements of the kinds of education or the kinds of engagement or even the kinds of action ultimately that will be required collectively for uh, the both a plebiscite and or for a legitimate self-determination. Because self-determination cannot exist without our determining our fate, ourselves. And that requires a plebiscite. What a plebiscite will look like 
has to be determined by us. The outcome of a plebiscite may result in different people taking different actions, different uh, approaches, different journeys, uh, either separation, repatriation, or integration. Self-determination is our making the determination ourselves. And part of the plebiscite process, again, is that uh, it doesn't have to be, you know, one thing about European culture is it only allows, you know, you can only be one thing, it can only allows, it only allows for one thing. But really, uh, you know, the reality that we live in and our experience is that we're many things, we're multi faceted multi have many multi dimensions to our experience and so a plebiscite would allow for more than one choice it doesn't have to be majority rule you know we got the most this particular option got the most votes that's the only thing that we can do but to be truly self-determining we have to provide the kinds of uh, information and um participation that allows for making an informed choice and uh, the resources to carry through on whatever that choice may have been that was made. Uh, and COBRA has spent um, many, much of its time working on the educational part of uh, the reparations uh, equation. And ultimately, we look at the idea we look at the notion we look at the implementation of a plebiscite for the descendants uh, of africans formerly enslaved in the u.s as the uh, premier the prime uh, strategy for self-determination thank you